Didn't I say we were going shopping ten minutes ago? Sorry, Mom. I got so busy playing with my toys, I lost track of time. Fine. But I'll give you 15 more minutes and that's it. Do you think you can be ready by then? Absolutely. See? I'll put away my toys right now. Sorry about earlier, Mom. Oh, and before you go, we'll be at the mall for at least three hours today. So if you have plans with any of your friends, you can postpone them for later. Mom, come on! Mm, well, fine. I'll let my friends know. Maybe I can have my game night some other time. Thank you, Mary. You know how much I love going shopping with you, right? You've told me a thousand times, Mom. I know. It's just that, I don't know. I'm not comfortable spending so much money all the time. Didn't we go shopping yesterday already, Mom? Why do we have to go today? <laughs> don't be silly, sweetie. Shopping is fun after all, so who cares? Besides, I want my sweetheart to look as pretty as she can be. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Whatever you say, Mom. I have so many calls already. But, okay, I'll come along this time. Perfect. When we get back, I'll let you have a little fun with your private pool and playground as well. How does that sound? Oh, and you can take your water toys with you as well. <sighs> Thank you, Mom. Sounds like great fun. I deserve any of this. Why does mom go shopping so much? Me, dad, and her, we all need the money for the house. Oh well, as long as we have dad with us, nothing can go too wrong. We love each other and we support each other. Mary, sweetie, I know you're still here. Better get ready fast, okay? Okay, mom, I'll go right now. What do you think, sweetie? What do you think of all your new clothes we got? I'm still not a fan of spending so much, but they look great, Mom. I can't wait to try them on when we get home. See, I told you today would be fun. I so wish we could have just spent three hours as promised. We've been in this mall for five hours now, Mom, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> You're not the only one, sweetie. <laughs> Mom, is everything okay? What happened? You look so worried all of a sudden. Actually, Mary, there's something important I have to tell you. What is it, Mom? From the looks of it, I'm guessing it's really bad news. We'll have to move out of the house in a few days, Mary. I'm so sorry. I wanted to tell you earlier, but I couldn't find the courage to. But now, I feel like I must. You just have to know the truth. Move out? Wait, Mom, is everything okay? What about Dad? Is he coming with us? Your dad is with another woman, sweetie. I can't believe it at first, but it is what it is. He wants us to move out of the house so she can move in. Not only that, she refuses to give me any money. So we both have to find a way to survive after we leave. But mom, we'll be homeless. Are you scared? Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll be right by your side. I know this is really hard to accept, but we'll just have to make do with what we have. We'll at least take some of the clothes we've bought for ourselves so you won't have to worry about freezing outside. That's not very reassuring, Mom. It's all I can do for us for now. I know it will be very difficult, but we can get through this together. You and me, sweetie. With the both of us, I'm sure we will find a way. I can't believe Ted would put us in this position. <laughs> I don't 
don't believe it either. But as I said, we'll have to accept it for now. Be strong for me, okay, sweetie? We'll get through this, just you and me. Okay, Mom. We'll get through this together. I just hope it doesn't get too painful. I guess we'll have to see for ourselves. So many memories. I really miss this place. It's where I had you, Mary. It's where I watched you grow up to be the sweetest princess you are now. <laughs> I remember I'd run circles around the living room and you tried to stop me from getting hurt. <laughs> well, you did get hurt one time, remember? So my worries were justified. <laughs> Mom, come on! It was just a slight bump in the forehead. It wasn't that bad. I'm your mother. I can't see my sweetie get injured like that, now can I? Okay, okay, you win, Mom. I guess I'll really miss this place, too. I don't even feel like leaving. <laughs> I know it's hard, sweetie, I really know. I'm so sorry I had to make you go through this. You're still so young. I don't want to leave. I really don't. I don't know what's going to happen to us. Where will we go? What will we do? What will we eat and drink? I'm just... I'm just scared, Mom. I'm scared. <laughs> hey, sweetie. I'll be there for you all the way, remember? You don't have to go through all this alone. I won't lie and say to you that it's going to be smooth sailing, but I want you to be strong, okay? Can you do that, sweetie? Can you become stronger for me? <laughs> I'll try, Mom. I'll do my best. It's always difficult to take the first step, but I know you can do it, dear. As your mom, I believe in you and well, I love you, Mary. I know we both will get through this together. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. I love you, too. Just remember that you can talk to me about anything, okay, sweetie? Like I said, you do not need to have to go through this alone. We'll be going through a lot of hardships in the coming weeks. And keep all your emotions inside will never help you. Trust you, Mom. I promise I'll let you know how I'm feeling. I also promise to become stronger for the both of us. I'll be a strong daughter for me, Mom. It's the least I can do. Aww, you don't have to put it like that, sweetie. But I appreciate it. Anyways, we better get going, sweetie. Your dad will want us to be out of here and he doesn't want to see us in the house anymore. I know, you told me. I guess I won't get to see him for the last time after all. <laughs> That's just how it is, sweetie. Now, let's go. Exhausted. Day's beating you down already. Compared to you, Mom, I actually look very well rested. <laughs> Since when did you start being so sassy? Well, I learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's everything going, sweetie? It's been two weeks since we moved out. I guess it's not so bad. I do miss my home, but it is what it is. I miss home too, sweetie. But we're lucky we're able to have some place to call home, even if it's only temporary. I 
know, I know. You told me we had to sell most of our clothes to be able to afford this motel. It does scare me a bit, but I'm grateful for it. Well, we won't be able to keep this up forever, sweetie. We're running out of money and running out of clothes to sell. I've been looking for a job these past two weeks, but I haven't had any luck yet. I'm sure you'll figure something out. We're in this together, right, Mom? I see you haven't forgotten what I've told you back at home. Well, I told you I'd be stronger for you, didn't I? Yes, sweetie, yes you did. And I'm grateful for it. I'll continue looking for a job tomorrow. And the next day, as long as it takes, I'll do it for the both of us. I'll be counting on you, Mom. You'll always have my entire support. That means so much to me, sweetie. Thank you. Sometimes, I wish Dad was here with me. But then I remember what he did to us. I honestly never want to see him again. He hasn't called us once since we left. I thought he would call at least once to know how his daughter was feeling. I don't understand it either, Mary. For him to change so suddenly. It doesn't matter anyways. After all, I have you by my side, Mom. That's all I need. I love you, Mom. Sweetie, thank you. I love you too, dear. I know I keep saying this, but I promise we'll get through this. Together. Sweetie, is everything okay? We don't have a home anymore. Dad hasn't even reached out once. I'm hungry and I'm scared. Sweetie, I'm so sorry for you having to go through this. But I haven't given up yet. I'll figure something else out. Somehow. Look, Mom. Maybe we can ask this lady to help us out. Even if it's a little... Excuse me? I'm sorry if this is sudden, but can you help me and my mom with some- Ew! How dare you come and talk to me! Get away from me now unless you want that pitiful face of yours to be bruised. <laughs> How dare you talk to my daughter like that! Apologize right now! <laughs> Apologize to you? Look at you begging out there in the streets. You should be the one apologizing to your daughter for putting her in a situation like this. You really are pathetic, aren't you? <laughs> now get out of my sight. Just seeing you two is making me sick. Don't listen to her, Mom. She has no clue how hard you're working to keep me safe and happy. She's just one person with a nasty attitude. I'm doing everything I can, and yet I'm making you go through all of this. I... I really don't know what to do anymore. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I really am. I couldn't have asked for any other person to be by my side. I don't blame you for what's happening, Mom. In fact, you're the one helping me stay strong. Mary... Are you two okay? I saw what happened earlier. No one should ever talk to anyone like that. I'm so sorry you had to deal with that. Huh? Oh, it's okay. We've been through worse, I guess. Her daughter looks ill. Has she eaten anything lately? She could use some rest right now. We have no money to buy food anymore. My sweetheart has been starving for a while now. I'm growing desperate by the day and I just... just don't know what to do. Listen to me. Get yourself and your daughter some food right now. And while you're at it, get a lottery ticket as well. Here, I'll give you some of my money. That's... that's a lot of money. 
You really don't have to. I can't stand to see you two like this. Please, just consider it a gift from me or something. I'll even help you get the lottery ticket after lunch. Use the money, get some new clothes, and we'll go for the lottery together. How does that sound? Why would we need a lottery ticket? Well, in a few hours, there's this big lottery game taking place. The chances of winning are extremely low, but if you do, you could win up to $30 million. <gasps> Whoa! That's enough for us to buy a new house, Mom! Yes, but as you say, there was a very low chance of winning. Right, miss? Ah, you can call me Rebecca. And yes, the chances are low, but it doesn't hurt to try, does it? We have nothing to lose here. Hmm, good point. All right then, me and Mary will give it a shot. Rebecca, I can't thank you enough for doing this. I didn't realize people like you still existed. Yes, Rebecca, you're our hero. Thank you so much, we're super grateful. You two are so sweet. But anyways, we can talk later. Let's get something to eat now. You two must be starving. Okay then, let's go together. There's a store nearby that Mary and I love. Just go there. Well then, lead the way. Sure thing. After we're done eating, we'll get some new clothes and head to the lottery game. This just might be a turning point for me and my daughter. This could be a life-changing moment for me and my daughter. We'll find a way to repay you for everything, Rebecca, as long as it takes. I can't thank you enough for what you've done for us. <laughs> Let's save the talk for while we're eating, shall we? I don't want to keep you too starving for long. <laughs> She's right, Mom. I'm beyond starving. Oh, right. Let's get going. I'll lead the way. went shopping <laughs> we used to go almost every night right sweetie <laughs> that's the part I don't miss at all though <laughs> <laughs> sorry to break the fun and all but shouldn't you put your new clothes on you can use the trying room inside the store they don't mind at all <laughs> oh right I got so caught away with the shopping, I forgot that part. You two have been through a lot, so I can understand that. But anyway, don't let me keep you waiting. Mary can go first, then you, Sarah. I won't be gone too long. She's had it really tough lately. Seeing her smile like that after so long, it makes me the happiest parent in the whole world. She has a beautiful smile, too. I'm so happy I could help in any way. You've already done more than enough for us. I'll never forget your act of kindness, Rebecca. Maybe you can visit me and my daughter after we properly settle down. We'd love some company. If that gives me an excuse to spend time with Mary, I'm on board. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, how do I look? Oh, just like the little princess I know you are. <laughs> ah, guess I'd better get dressed too. How long until the event, Rebecca? Oh dear, I can't believe I didn't notice. We only have ten minutes. This is bad. What? Ten minutes? Oh dear God, I better run and get... <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> we have about two hours, so take your time, Sarah. <laughs> you scared me half to death. <laughs> you gotta have a little fun somehow. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, I better get dressed now. I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Mary.
Harry. Do you like your new clothes? <laughs> Thank you. I love all the clothes I got. Mom used to take me shopping almost every day, so I like to pick the best clothes for myself. Besides, if you think I look great, you should see my mom. She picks the best outfits. <laughs> <laughs> The chances of winning the lottery are extremely low, but I think it's worth a shot. Perhaps fortune may favor you, Sarah. Mom never gave up on us. She did everything she could to make sure we both could survive. If anyone deserves amazing luck today, it's my mom. You're the sweetest, Mary. Thank you so much. I agree with Mary. You never know where blessings can arrive from. Today just might be the day. Look, Mom! There's two other people coming up the stage! It's... it's... him! I can't believe it! It's Will! Dad? I haven't seen him in so long. Oh... Look, Mom, he's with someone. She looks familiar. I'll never forget that face! It's the one we met back at the park! I remember now. She said horrible things to you, Mom. I can never forget that either. He knows it's us, and yet he can't even say hi! Whatever happened to us, Will? How could you do this? It's okay, Mom. Don't worry about him. After how he treated you and me, I don't think of him as my dad anymore. Besides, I got you by my side. I couldn't ask for anything better. She's right, Sarah. It's all in the past. Now, let us focus on the event itself. The number should be up any minute now. Ugh. I can't believe it's those two. I remember them begging for money literally hours ago. What chance do they think they have anyway? Does it even matter? I've never met those two and frankly, I don't really care. I suggest you treat them as nobodies as well. You'll instantly feel better. <laughs> I like that actually. I can't wait to shove those millions in their face when I win. Be my guest, dear. I'll be waiting near the car, as always, after we win. Thank you all so much for waiting. Without further ado, the winning ticket for today is 1, 2, 5, 4, 7, 9, 2. Wait, Mom! That number! Isn't that our ticket? Way. I think it is. Wait, I, I have to check. This seems way too good to be true. We won! We won, sweetie! We won, Rebecca! It's our ticket! Mom! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I knew Mom would win! I refuse to accept this. There's no way I lost to a pair of street beggars. There's just no way! Well, let these little people enjoy their little victory today. Whatever. I have all the money I need anyways. I don't mind letting you idiots win this time. Come on, Will. I'm leaving. Right behind you, honey. Did you see how defeated he looked? You two really showed him, didn't you? Frankly, I don't care what he thinks anymore. We both have finally been set free. Sweetie, are you just as excited as I am? This is our day and our lives will change. I'm way more excited than you, Mom. I can't wait to see what's next. What's next? How about getting the money in the first place? That sounds like the best step to take. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Don't worry, Rebecca. We remember. We also remember the promise we made to you. Once me and Mary get properly settled, you're welcome to visit us at any time. And yes, you can spend as much time as you want with Mary. I like the sound of that. Thank you, Sarah. At that stage, I can practically call you my sister. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> been in a place like this. It's incredible! It's our first time as well. Mary and I decided to invite you since it's a special day for us. Special day? Is it your birthday, Sarah? Mary? No, no. It's a special day because we can finally afford to go to a place like this. I mean, just look around! Doesn't all of this look amazing? Forget to thank me, Mom. It was my recommendation after all. I was just about to mention you, sweetie. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see, Will. Are you going to ignore me again like you did last time? How's your new life going? Oh, hey. Been a while. Don't get too full of yourself just because you won a few million dollars. You might be rich now, but I know who you were from back at that park. And why do you act like you two know each other? Will clearly has never met you three before. <laughs> oh, really? You didn't tell her the truth yet, Dad? You can do it right now, unless you want to lie to her in front of your own daughter. I was hoping you would at least call me once to ask how I was feeling. But I guess even that was too much. Now that me and Mom are rich again, we don't need you anymore. Wait, what? Will, is that your daughter? You told me you were single. No, honey, wait. I'll explain everything. These two are obviously mistaken. Oh my, oh my. You're really getting into deep trouble, aren't you, Will? Shut up, Sarah. I'm talking to Agatha now. Sarah? So you even know her name, yet you've never met her? Are you lying straight to my face now, Will? Wow, Dad. I knew you were heartless, but I didn't know you were all so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> So you lied to me about being single, and you let your own family rot out in the streets? You're a sick man, Will. I'm done with you. Don't ever call me again. No, wait, Agatha, please. Let me explain. This is all wrong. I won't hear it. You're pathetic, Will, and I've had enough. thinking I'm going to get back with you, then forget it. Like your honey, I never want to see you again. We're officially through. No, please, Sarah. I'm sorry. I, I know I've been a terrible husband, but let me fix things. I can fix this. Let's get out of here. Poor Will needs to have some space to cry alone. What is it, sweetie? Have you come to forgive your dad? I'm so sorry I never called you, Mary. Deep down, I always cared about you, and I still do. We can fix all of this again, sweetie. We can start all over again. Please, I just came to say goodbye. Just like Mom, I don't want to ever see you again. You have no idea what Mom went through trying to make sure we can survive. And I'll never forget what she went through, all because of you. Mary. She's so adorable, 
isn't she? Spending time with her is one of my greatest joys. Agreed. She is strong and adorable at the same time. She went through so much in the past months, yet she can still crack a smile. That reminds me of how much you treated us two. I'm surprised you could change so much, Agatha. After I found out about what Will did, I felt so much shame. I remember how my dad also abandoned me and my mom. I would never want anyone to go through that. I never thought Sarah and Mary were going through the same thing. I regret all those moments I was rude to them. If there was a way, I would take it all back. Hey, I get how you feel. Mary and Sarah have already forgiven you, haven't they? I've also forgiven you, Agatha. The only thing left now is for you to forgive yourself. I know it's a tough thing for me to say, but it's what you need to do. Besides, I'm sure that Sarah and Mary would be happy if they didn't have to see you holding yourself guilty. I can see why you're so close to those two. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you so much. I'll do the best I can. That's the spirit, Agatha! Now, before I forget, we need to start cooking dinner. Sarah will be home soon, and I don't want her to order out again. We'll make the best meal of her life! Oh, please. It shouldn't be that hard. You're talking to an amazing chef, after all. Stole the words right out of my mouth. You're not the only one who can cook great meals. <laughs> I sense a challenge already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I'm actually feeling hungry already. I can't wait. Besides, what will you two be cooking? I'm curious. Sorry, Mary. That's a surprise. It's no fun if I tell you already. I agree with Rebecca. You'll have to wait for a while, Mary. Don't worry. You're going to love today's dinner. I bet it's going to be even better than anything you've tried at your dad's place. to dinner. Make it as fast as possible, please. I can't wait. Well, what do you think? Gorgeous, isn't it? I thought this house would be perfect for me and Mary. It didn't cost nearly as much as I thought either. Mom, this house looks incredible. I think it's perfect for us. I'm glad you think so, sweetie. For a brief moment there, I was worrying about whether you'd like it. With a house like this, why would I hate it in the first place? But I understand, Mom. I think this mansion is incredible, Sarah. It's a perfect trophy to remind you of how far you've come. I'll probably say this forever, but I'm grateful for everything you've done for us. There aren't many people in this world like you, and I'm glad to have met someone like you, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm happy to have met you too, Sarah. You could return a favor by letting me be around your daughter as much as possible. I've started to act like a parent towards her. Mary, sweetie? Well, how does that sound? Do you want to spend more time with her? Obviously! Me and her get along so well together. I really like Agatha too, Mom. I want to spend more time with her too. You're so sweet, Mary. Thank you. I promise to take care of you as best as I can. Mom, I'm so excited. We're finally here. It's a new chapter in our lives. I agree, sweetie. It's a new start for the both of us. We've met amazing people like Rebecca and Agatha on the way too. So we'll invite them over as much as possible. That's amazing. I look forward to seeing them every day. I'll talk about everything else inside. Are you ready to see our new home, Mary? Yes, yes, yes I am, Mom. Agatha and Rebecca will walk with us too, right? Of course we will. And I want to judge the quality of your new house after all. I agree with Rebecca. I want to see how good you are at selecting homes. <laughs> all right then. Let's go everyone, together. <laughs> <laughs> 